In today's show, analyst places 32,500 Bitcoin buy order as hodlers bet on 46,000 as the Bitcoin price bottom. That's right, popular crypto analyst Peter Brandt tweeted, you can see these laser eyes with the glasses and he further clarifies, symbolism was that people with laser eyes need help seeing. And he also wrote, I have entered orders overnight to buy Bitcoin at $32,501. I'll be breaking this down for you in today's show. And as the Bitcoin archive points out, Bitcoin bull market in 2017, we've had six corrections of 30 to 40 percent, followed by average gain of 153 percent. So as you can see right here, corrections are normal. Now checking out the latest wisdom from Max Kaiser. He tweeted, toxic Bitcoiners toughen up hodlers for the drawdowns. Bitcoin is war with fiat and central bankers. Best toughen up. Also be sharing the latest from Rec Capital. Also in today's show, Ethereum hits $2,600 all-time high as Bitcoin market dominance falls below 50 percent. That's right. As you can see on your screen right here, yesterday, Ethereum broke out to a new price discovery mode, which is the highest it's been trading again against Bitcoin since August of 2018. And as Raul Powell points out, to be brutally honest, I stare at the chart of Ethereum slash Bitcoin and I see an enormous rounded bottom with potentially huge breakout just above. And speaking of Ethereum, breaking news, the first Ethereum ETFs in North America have officially launched. I'll be breaking this down for you in today's show. Also in today's episode, analyst says massive alt summer is coming and names top three coins to watch. He also shares his latest Bitcoin and Ethereum price predictions. We're talking about crypto analyst Michael Van Day Pop, who says he would not be surprised to see Bitcoin appreciate by about 800% from the current levels and Ethereum go up by around 900% from the current prices during this bull cycle. He recently tweeted, this entire cycle is going to be massive. Still, watch some interviews with Raul Powell today. Makes me even more bullish. Bitcoin to $500,000. Yeah, why not? Ethereum to $25,000. Yeah, why not? I'll be breaking this down for you in today's show. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, we're witnessing a massive correction as all the major cryptos are currently in the red and bleeding. But where's the Bitcoin price likely to go from here? Find out all this plus so much more in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every single day. So be sure to smash that subscribe button. That's right. And turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. And before I kick off today's show, I want to give a special shout out to Bybit, one of the leading crypto exchanges when it comes to trading Bitcoin, Ethereum, EOS, and XRP with leverage. And they have a special promo running right now where you can get up to a $1,000 bonus for a limited time by using my referral link in the description right down below. Not only that, but every trader who makes their first Bitcoin deposit will also receive an additional $10 coupon and BTC. And it's very simple to register. It will only take you about 25 seconds. Simply use my referral link in the description right down below. Take advantage of this $1,000 bonus and let's start stacking those sats, shall we? All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV. Massive correction this morning, a lot to cover. Let's just dive right in. Bitcoin is expected to dip to as low as 32,500 in the short term after several crucial support levels faded to nothing on April 23rd. That's right, Bitcoin hit lows not seen since early March on Friday as analysts line up their prognosis and buy orders in the latest Bitcoin price correction. Bitcoin pullbacks tend to frighten new investors while old hands seem to battle each other for who can put on the coolest persona as the numbers fall, as the largest crypto fell through 53,000 and then 50,000 and even touched about 47,500 this morning. Signs of bearishness for the short term began to surface. For veteran trader Peter Brandt, well known for calling various Bitcoin price phenomena in recent years, there was still much more room left to buy the dip, so much that he revealed he had scheduled to buy order at just $32,501 along with this tweet of the Bitcoin laser eyes with the glasses drew on and he also wrote symbolism was that people with laser eyes need help seeing and to further clarify he wrote I entered orders overnight to buy Bitcoin at $32,501. Do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to drop this low? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Personally I do not see that happening. And like other popular analysts, however, Peter Brent is far from bearish on Bitcoin in the long term. Joining him in forecasting the price floor was popular Twitter account Dilution Proof, who argued that 46000 would be a line in the sand for Bitcoin slash USD. Checking out his tweet right here. Bitcoin broke through its support zone at 53000 and a $1 trillion market cap last night. Looking at the on-chain volume profile, 47000 is the next large support zone, which coincides with the whale version of the on-chain profile with 45000 to 48000 and a Fibonacci zone of 46,800. As you can see right here on your screen, the foundation for support in fact consists of several price points. The account explained, bid 
bids from investors and large volume whales, along with the technical Fibonacci level, all suggest that the bears would have difficulty forcing the market much lower. Now, crypto analyst Philip Swift of Trading Suite, Decent Trader, agreed in a fresh analysis released on Friday. He wrote, in addition, we are continuing to see big increases in the number of users on the Bitcoin blockchain, which is also bullish. So while there has been a lot of fear on social media this week, I do not believe that there is a need to panic or to be overly concerned about the price of Bitcoin right now. I agree 100%. Let me know if you do in the comments right down below. Now, more Bitcoin was deposited to exchanges in the past 24 hours to Friday than at any time since the cross-asset crash in March of 2020, according to Glassnode analytic data, as you can see right here on your screen. And for fellow Twitter analyst Rec Capital, meanwhile, the retracement is a textbook event that has characterized every Bitcoin bull market. The start of quarter two correction coming around 80 days after the end of the quarter one correction from 42K mimics what happened to Bitcoin during its 2017 bull run. The account noted the following he shared in a recent tweet. In 2017, a new Bitcoin bull market correction would often occur 50 days after the previous correction ended. Interestingly, the difference in amount of days between the 2017 quarter one and quarter two corrections was 79 days. In 2021, the difference between quarter one and quarter two corrections was 81 days. And he included this chart you can see right here on your screen. And he also tweeted, in 2017, Bitcoin had 18 pullbacks in total, including five major corrections that were 30 to 40% deep. In 2021 so far, Bitcoin had five dips, 14 to 26%, but one major correction at 31%. Bitcoin is currently down 27% since its $65,000 all-time high. This is only the seventh pullback. So there you have it. Now let's discuss the altcoins. They say altcoins suffer, but that a major cash injection is near. As Bitcoin lingers, altcoins are seeing another sea of red after succumbing to a broad sell-off, but not for long. That is also the conclusion of Philip Swift, who signaled out Ethereum after the largest altcoin by market cap hit new all-time highs yesterday. More generally, altcoins are ripe for an flux of cash from investors who consider Bitcoin too expensive, quoting him right here. Given the influx of new money entering the market and new entrants perceiving Bitcoin as too expensive, I'm expecting money to flow into altcoins, he added. That would cause Bitcoin dominance to drop for a period of time as certain alts outperform Bitcoin. Bitcoin lost its control and slice of the crypto market cap pie on Thursday, dropping into a 40 to 50% zone for the first time since 2018. That's right, the true alt season begins when a Bitcoin dominance breaks below 50%, which we did for the first time since 2018. Just yesterday. Now checking out the latest wisdom from Max Kaiser. Toxic Bitcoiners toughen up hodlers for the drawdowns. If my tweets offend you, you're not ready for Bitcoin. Please leave now. My dad, who was a Marine drill sergeant, would agree. Bitcoin is war with fiat and central bankers. Best toughen up. That's right. And before I break down our next story of the day, Ethereum hits new all-time high above $2,600 as Bitcoin market dominance falls below 50%, as well as the first Ethereum ETFs in North America have officially launched, as well as analyst says massive alt summer coming, names top three altcoins to watch, and shares his latest updates for his Ethereum and Bitcoin price predictions. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, it's a bloodbath, literally a sea of red. We can see Bitcoin down 9.4%, trading just above 49 thousand dollars we have ethereum down 11 percent trading above 2200 we have xrp down almost 17 percent trading at a dollar eight polka dot down 11 percent trading at 31 dollars and binance coin down 12 percent trading under 500 bucks all right now let's break down our next story of the day ethereum the largest altcoin by market cap hit a new all-time high yesterday on april 22nd despite a bearish phase sweeping through bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies now coin telegraph's market pro and trading view showed ethereum hitting 2600 on april 22nd for the first time on the back of a 9.2% daily gain. Now against Bitcoin, Ether was also on fire, hitting 0.047, its highest since August of 2018, as you can see right here on your screen. The second largest crypto increasingly stood out against the rest of the day as Bitcoin continued to consolidate lower and other altcoins suffered from a painful knock-on effect. Now analysts as well as investors already buoyed by the previous action from this year's alt season were thus firmly bullish on the near-term prospects. Checking out these tweets from Raul Pao. To be brutally honest, I stare at the chart of Ethereum slash Bitcoin and I see an enormous rounded bottom with potentially huge breakout just above. And he also tweeted, when you price anything up in DeFi, NFT, community tokens, or even metaverse worlds, everything is basically priced in Ethereum, including designers, time, etc. Ethereum is rapidly becoming the currency of the digital world, and Bitcoin is the pristine collateral and base layer. And he also tweeted, the Ethereum space is growing at 100% year over year versus 50% year over year for Bitcoin, and it's attracting a massive proportion of the developer talent and applications too. That 
my friend as a fact. And he also tweeted, at this point in the recycle and with Ethereum 2.0 coming, cheaper fees and less supply, I'm struggling to not sell all my Bitcoin to move my entire core position to Ethereum. To be clear, I'm a massive Bitcoin bull, but I think Ethereum is the better asset allocation for performance. Right now, let me know if you agree or disagree with Raul Pao. Altcoin's overall strength this month was already expressing itself in Bitcoin's dwindling market cap dominance, which dipped below 50% for the first time in almost three years. Such events tend to spark the most intense part of alt season, in which tokens see a rapid surge to peak before cooling off. The latest Ethereum gains, nonetheless, came with a predictable payoff. Gas fees for sending transactions began to spike on the day, a timely reminder for those caught unaware during previous phases of the bull market. So there you have it. Are you currently more bullish on Ethereum or Bitcoin? Let me know in the comments right down below. And before I break down our next breaking story of the day, the first Ethereum ETFs in North America have officially launched, as well as analyst says massive alt summer coming and names top three altcoins to watch and updates his Bitcoin and Ethereum price predictions. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market cap sitting above 1.8 trillion with just under 300 billion in volume in the past 24 hours and the current Bitcoin dominance sitting at 50.5% with the Bitcoin market cap above $935 billion. Now checking out the top gainers within the top 100, we have Bitcoin Gold up 15%, trading just under 97 bucks. Waves up 4%, trading at $14. Pancake Swap barely in the green, trading at 26 bucks. And Ravain barely in the green, trading at 1.2 cents. And the rest of the market is in the red as we are still experiencing a pretty substantial correction at the time of this recording. Now, which altcoins are you currently most bullish on? Let me know in the comments right down below. Now checking out one of my favorite indicators is the Crypto Greed and Fear Index. Shows we're currently rated a 55 in greed. Yesterday was a 65, last week a 78, and last month a 65 in greed. Now, if you're not familiar with the Crypto Greed and Fear Index, extreme fear can be a sign. Investors are too worried. That can be a great buying opportunity like we're experiencing right now. BTFD, buy that freaking dip. When investors are getting too greedy, that means the market is due for a correction. All right, now let's break down our next story of the day. Canada is re-upping its support for the cryptocurrency sector, launching the first Ethereum exchange-traded fund, better known as an ETF, in North America, just months after launching the first Bitcoin ETF on the continent. ETFs combine the ease of stock trading with the diversification benefits of mutual funds. Often they have lower fees than other types of funds, but they trade at market-determined prices that can differ from the underlying asset they are designed to track. Now live, we have Purpose Investments Ethereum ETF, CI Global Asset Management Galaxies Ethereum ETF, and Evolve will provide traditional stock investors with exposure to Ethereum, the crypto asset that powers the Ethereum blockchain. Now, U.S. investors will not be able to buy and sell ETFs unless they have access to the Toronto Stock Exchange, says Purpose Investments founder and CEO Sam Safe. While Bitcoin tends to get a lot of attention, as it was the first major crypto, what Ether and Ethereum ecosystem represent is one of the most exciting new technology visions today in society. By launching the first ETF in the world that directly owns and provides exposure to Ethereum, we are enabling every investor to have access to this unique opportunity and ecosystem. Canada has been the leader in crypto ETFs, launching the first North American Bitcoin fund earlier this year, also on the Toronto Stock Exchanges. Those ETFs now have more than a billion dollars in assets under management. Now, this is a pretty big deal. If you're to ask me, this will help usher in the massive adoption, especially from the major institutions around the world. Let the corporate FOMO, like a mofo, continue. And before I break down our final story of the day, analyst says massive alt summer coming, names top three altcoins to watch, and updates his Bitcoin and Ethereum price predictions. But first, I want to remind you to smash that show more button right below this video in the description for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the crypto market. This goes for all 760 plus videos right here on my YouTube channel. Also, some very helpful resources for you to plug into, including my daily letter, which goes out to over 30,000 subscribers every single day. To subscribe, visit letter.cryptonewsalerts.net. Also, have a blog I update daily, which could be found at cryptonewsyes.com. Also, be sure to smash that subscribe button right below this video in the description to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day just like this. You can also find me on all the major podcasts and platforms from Spotify, the home of the Joe Rogan experience, to Apple's iTunes. You can also follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Crypto News. Yes. And for those of you active on Facebook, I do have a private crypto Facebook group entitled Crypto Alchemy with over 18,000 cryptopreneurs from all over the world. To join it, click this link, request to join. I'll be sure to plug you in. And for those of you active on Telegram as I am, I do have a private crypto Telegram chat, which is uncensored to 
join it, click this link, you'll automatically be added. And I'm looking forward to connecting with you personally on the inside. And I recently created a TikTok account. So for those of you on TikTok, be sure to add me and follow me there. All right, now let's break down our final story of the day, shall we? Cryptocurrency analyst and influencer Michael Bande Pop believes altcoins will rally furiously this summer. That's right. He tells his 288,000 Twitter followers that alt summer is on the horizon as Ethereum goes for new all-time highs and its Bitcoin pair. The analyst takes to YouTube to reveal which altcoins he believes could provide traders the opportunity to earn some serious summer gains. Van Day Pop kicked off his list with Litecoin. That's right, LTC, which he says is currently in an accumulation phase, quoting him right here. If you're looking at the bigger picture, you can see that we've got this accumulation going on here, and that's massive. Van Day Pop adds that after the accumulation phase, the 10th ranked crypto by market cap could surge by 3x, giving Litecoin a potential value of $1,000. How many of you watching this are currently bullish on Litecoin? Let me know in the comments right down below. The second altcoin that the crypto influencer is paying close attention to is the decentralized Oracle network, Chainlink, better known as the missing link of the blockchain. Van Day Pop predicts that in the event that Chainlink breaks out above the current resistance levels, it can more than double its price from the present levels of below $40. Let's go go Chainlink, quoting him right here. You can also make the calculation that Chainlink is going to reach a target of potentially even 100 bucks. How many of you are currently bullish on Chainlink? Holla at your boy in the comments below. I know I've been bullish on Chainlink for the past several years. The crypto influencer rounds off his list with Stellar Lumens, XLM, which he says is set to rally if it pierces through the current resistance zone at around 0.000018 Satoshis. Now, XLM is a fork off of XRP. Now, history has shown us when XRP breaks out, XLM typically follows. And as we all know, XRP just broke out of like a three year slumber, quoting him right here. Stellar Lumens is also facing critical resistance. So that if we get another test of this resistance zone, we are definitely going to break through that. And then we can start seeing acceleration. Van Day Pop is also suggesting that he would not be surprised to see Bitcoin appreciate by about 800% from the current levels and Ethereum go up by around 900% from the current prices during this bull market cycle. He recently tweeted this entire cycle Michael is going to be massive still. Watch some interviews with Raul Powell today. Makes me even more bullish. Bitcoin to $500,000. Yeah, why not? Ethereum to $25,000. Yeah, why not? Let me know if you agree or disagree with Michael Van Day Pop's bullish price predictions. He also reminds newbies, start zooming out. Stop falling for your emotions panic slash FOMO. Start deriving a plan for yourself and educating yourself. Evaluate your own decisions constantly. Become critical. Avoid leverage and have a long-term focus rather than short-term. That's right. Now for a quick recap of what I covered with you right here in today's show. Top analyst places 32500 Bitcoin buy order as hodlers bet on 46000 as a Bitcoin price bottom. I shared the latest from Max Kaiser who says toxic Bitcoiners toughen up hodlers for the drawdowns and Bitcoin is a war with fiat and central bankers. Best tough up. And as Peter Brandt points out, he shared these laser eyes with the sunglasses telling us straight up, I have entered orders overnight to buy Bitcoin at $32,501. Also in today's show, I shared Ethereum hits a new all-time high of $2,600 entering price discovery mode as the Bitcoin dominance falls below 50%. And as Raul Powell points out, to be brutally honest, I stare at the Ethereum slash Bitcoin chart and I see an enormous rounded bottom with potentially huge breakout just above. Also in today's show, I shared breaking news, the first Ethereum ETFs in North America have officially launched. Also in today's episode, I shared that top analyst Michael Van Day Pop says massive alt summer is coming, names top three coins to watch, and shares his Bitcoin and Ethereum price prediction updates. As you can see right here, this entire cycle is going to be massive still. Watch some interviews with Raul Pal today. Makes me even more bullish. Bitcoin to $500,000. Yeah, why not? Ethereum to $25,000. Yeah, why not? So there you have it. So where do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to go next? Let me know in the comments right down below. Well, that's going to conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in and journeying along with me inside this incredible crypto matrix. If you gain value out of today's show, be sure to smash that subscribe button. That's right. And turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day just like this. Real quick before I go, I want to give a special shout out to Bybit, one of the leading crypto exchanges when it comes to trading Bitcoin, Ethereum, EOS, and XRP with leverage. However, if you're going to trade with leverage, please do so responsibly. They have a special promo running right now where you can get up to a one 
$1,000 bonus. All you need to do is use my referral link in the description right down below. Not only that, but every trader who makes their first Bitcoin deposit will also receive an additional $10 coupon in BTC. It's very simple to register and get started. It literally will only take you about 25 seconds. So click the link right down below. Claim your $1,000 bonus. Let's start stacking those stats. And I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.